Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. How is everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody is doing well. Uh, in today's video, guys, we are going to, uh, I'm basically just going to go through and show off what I've picked up in 2023 so far. I haven't really done too many pickup videos this year. Uh, I haven't really gotten a whole lot of stuff, so I don't have too much here. There is definitely a lot of stuff that I wanted to get, but I had to pass on because it's an expensive hobby. You can't buy everything. But um, I do have uh, I do have enough here that I thought, I, you know, this would make a cool little video. Uh, and not everything in here is stuff that got released, like, this year. Uh, some of it got released, you know, last year or the end of last year, the beginning of last year, and I just picked it up now. Some stuff has been out for years and years, but I just personally happened to pick it up this year. So this is just everything, uh, including you know, old stuff, new stuff, whatever, just basically anything that I picked up so far in 2023. So now I do have enough here where it's going to take a little bit of a while to go through them. So I am just going to go very, very quick. Uh, I actually have family downstairs right now. They're uh, over for dinner. So I need to do this quick. I can't be up here. I got to be, you know, down there. I can't be antisocial. Uh, so I'm just trying to bust this out real quick. Uh, I'm not going to edit it. It's just going to be one straight cut. We're going raw, old school, whatever happens, happens, uncensored. If I swear, I swear, I, you know, we're just going to keep it, keep it raw and uncensored and uncut. Uh, and we're just going to bust through these. I'm not going to talk about them. I'm not going to delve into them really too much. This is basically a video saying this is what I've picked up. Let's get started so this video is not super long. All right, right off the bat, first of all, the thing we're going to show off is Cloverfield. This wonderful, uh, beautiful slip cover uh, from Lionsgate Steelbook. Uh, next up, we have City of the Living Dead from Cauldron Videos. Fantastic artwork. I'm in the middle of filming an unboxing and review for that one, so stay tuned. Uh, next up, we have uh, from the Vestron Collection, the Dentist Collection. Very cool slip cover. Not anything too exciting on the back, so I'm not going to show you. I'm only going to show you stuff on the back if it is kind of cool. Uh, then we got uh, the Rocky Steelbook, the first movie. These I got all these. These are probably going to be in all different orders. Uh, the, then we got Rocky II Steelbooks. I love these Steelbooks. I think they look absolutely fantastic. All right, uh, another steelbook. Man, we got all kinds of steelbooks here. We got Friday the 13th, part three steelbook. I'll be back. Uh, again, do a couple of MVDs. We got The Last American Virgin, the slipcover. This movie is awesome. If you've never seen it, definitely check it out. If you're a fan of Ridge Fast Times at Ridgemont High, you will definitely enjoy that movie. In fact, that movie I might enjoy even a little bit more. Uh, next up from MVD Rewind Collection, we got Men at Work. This movie was okay. wasn't great, but uh, wasn't bad either. Uh, next up was a documentary called Fred Heads the Documentary. It's just about a bunch of, uh, bunch of people... Uh, who are obsessed, not really obsessed, but are really into the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. Uh, next up from Shout Select, we got Streets of Fighter. This movie's awesome and it looks fantastic in 4K. Next up, I have not even watched or reviewed this yet, is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Love that artwork. It is so cool. Um, this Then this one is 30 Minutes or Less. I just got this at a thrift store the other day. Um, There's another one I got at the, th oops, at the thrift store. Semi-Pro, Will Ferrell, have not seen it. We'll probably watch it somewhat soon. Next, we got uh, 100 Years, Warner Brothers. We got the Maltese Falcon, Bogart. Uh, we got three classics in from those. I will be reviewing all three of them probably in one video. This is another one of them. Cool Hand Luke, Paul Newman. The movie's awesome, but I have not seen the 4K restoration yet. Uh, next, from Second Sight, we got George A. Romero's Martin Vampire movie. We'll show the back there. Some cool artwork there. That is a very cool, I do have an unboxing, and I can't remember if I did a review or not on that. Honestly, I don't remember. You'll have to look. Uh, next up, we got Steven Spielberg's The Fablemans. I love that artwork. That movie was quite different than I thought it was going to be, but still very, very enjoyable. Uh, next up from Paramount Presents, we got uh, Rachel McAdams and Killian Murphy in Red Eye, Wes Craven movie. This movie was really cool. I love how they, oops, I love, oh, that is right. I love how they have the original artwork on the inside there. That's always very cool. This will be the third one that I'm going to do in that video review of the 100 uh, Warner Brothers. And it's the, uh, 
Dean Martin in Run Without a Cause. I love the slipcovers on here. They have a really, really, really nice feel. Uh, next up is another beautiful steelbook, Air Force One, Harrison Ford. Have not opened it up and watched it yet. I've seen it, but I just have not watched uh, the 4K one yet. Um, then we got Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. This has been out forever. This is from Warner Archive. This is what I'm in the process of trying to catch up on a lot of my uh, AFI Top 100 movies that I haven't seen and get them into the collection. I will be doing videos on that as well. Uh, next one is Gone with the Wind. I have Gone with the Wind on DVD forever, but finally picked it up on Blu-ray this year. Uh, next from, uh, who is this again? Kino Lorber. Have not watched this yet. Charles Bronson and Death Wish 4K. I've seen Death Wish, just not the 4K. I'll be doing a review for that soon. Next uh, from Lionsgate, we got another Steelbook slipcover. Uh, Warm Bodies. I love that artwork. It's very cool. Back is kind of cool as well. Uh, next up from Scream Factory, we got Dawn of the Dead. This is a fantastic 4K. Definitely check it out. If you have not, it's a good movie and a fantastic transfer. Definitely worth your time. Next up, we got uh, Violent Night. I, I picked this up uh, when it came out after Christmas, and I'm going to wait till actual Christmas to watch it because in May... It's not going to be that much fun. So I'm just going to wait till this coming up here. I uh, picked this up yesterday, Dragon Slayer. Awesome steelbook. I will take a time here and show off this steelbook just real fast, even though I did it in yesterday's video, but it's just super cool. There's that there, and there's that there. I thought it was uh, I thought it was worth the time to uh, take the slipcover off and show that off because it was uh, pretty awesome. Uh, next one is another movie I picked up yesterday is this digi book all quiet on the western front I am very excited to check this out I'll show the back too because the back is really cool but it's like a little digi book it's like a book it's got a little booklet in it and everything awesome release I'm looking forward to watching that next one is another one I picked up yesterday and it was uh deep impact I watched it last night I'll be doing a review on it very soon I love the slip cover and the artwork looks very cool um next up from the criterion collection we have dazed and confused the 4k release i've had this on dvd i've had this on normal dvd i've had this on like a standard blu-ray i've had this on the criterion blu-ray and now i have it on the criterion 4k yeah i'm a fan of this movie <laughs> and it looks great too check it out uh next up we have flash dance is another movie i just watched and i will probably be doing a review for it really soon what a feeling. I love this steelbook. It screams 80s. That's just awesome. Uh, then we got Rocky Three. I love these. I love these black and white with just a little bit of red color in their uh, steelbooks. I think those are great releases. They look good, too. I have not reviewed the last two. But the first two looked awesome. Uh, and then we got Chinatown, another one, Jack Nicholson, that I did for the AFI Top 100. Then we got Singing in the Rain. This movie was fantastic, and it looks fantastic. This was another uh, AFI Top 100 pickup. We're getting to all the Top 100s. West Side Story. It's another Top 100 AFI list. I will be doing videos on those very soon. Ben-Hur, that's another one that I picked up for the AFI. I have seen Ben-Hur, but I have not watched it yet. Training Day, which I still have not watched yet, but I heard it looks fantastic. I love this Warner Brothers Top 100 here. The one thing I did not like about this release is the fact that it came in a Blu-ray case. I don't like that. 4K, give us that black case. Next up, from, we got Short Circuit that I picked up at the thrift store a week or two ago. Very cool. We're getting down to the end, guys. I'm actually going through these pretty darn quick. Uh, another one from the Lionsgate slipcover steelbooks is David Bowie, The Man Who Fell to Earth. This just came out. I have not even opened it yet. Uh, I've never even actually seen this movie, but it looks cool. And I'm sure the uh, once you take it off, the steelbook is very cool as well. They usually are. Uh, then we got the Young Sherlock Holmes, which I have not watched yet. This is another great looking steelbook. I think that the artwork on that is awesome. Uh, then next from the uh, Mill Creek like Rewind Collection, we got Problem Child. I grew up on this movie. I love this movie. And I cannot wait to revisit it again because it, it has been a while. Uh, then last we got Rocky IV, which I have not even opened yet. Uh, so I don't know the transfers on this. I've watched the first three. I've reviewed the first two. Once again, another great steel book from, I think it was Warner Brothers that put that out. 
Uh, then we got Bonnie and Clyde, which is another one of the AFI Top 100 movies that I'm trying to watch. Uh, we're getting close, guys. We got three more. Uh, to the Wonder, which was another movie that I picked up when I was thrifting. And Altered States, which was a, another one that I picked up just the other day when I was thrifting on DVD. And then the last thing we got is this huge set right here, which was this John Wick stash book. And you go on the inside, and you kind of got uh, pages in here. It's the stash book, and you got all of these... Uh, all these steel books. There's one. There's two. I'm not going to take them all out. And then there's a couple of postcards in there with some pictures on it from the movie. And I believe that is it. It's possible that I missed one or two. There is a lot of stuff I did not pick up because it is just too darn expensive. I got to pick and choose what I get. And I'm sure there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff there I will get. A lot of horror titles that came out that I did not get. Uh, I'm sure I'll get them eventually. It just takes time. I don't make enough money to be able to buy every single release. I see some people's releases and per month, their stuff is like double this that I've gotten all year. I don't know how they afford that, but I cannot. But uh, still not a bad haul. What do we have here? We had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, probably 30, 40, 35, 40 titles, something like that. So not a bad little haul for, you know, the first few months of the year. But uh, that's it, guys. That's all I got for you today. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let's know you guys like what I'm doing. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Man, we blew through those pretty quickly. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching, guys. You guys are amazing as always. Let me know in the comments below. Do you own any of these movies? What did you pick up so far this year? Uh, let's continue the conversation in the uh, comments below, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.